Hi you guys! Today I have my March favorites and I only have a few products because I didn't really buy a lot of makeup or beauty products last month and some other ones are just repurchases or things that I rediscovered again so I hope you enjoy it. Alright so the first product I am going to show you is this Bioderma and this is the micellar solution makeup removing solution some people also call it um, micellar water and this product is actually from france i've heard about this years ago and i always wanted to try it and this is so popular in europe and now it has made it to the usa i got this from beautylish which is a website they just carry different uh, makeup and beauty products and guys the hype it's real for this product i have had such a horrible breakout i mentioned this on my um other like my february um, favorites video and i still do if you can see there which i am actually going to make a whole video on this um, breakout that i had because i haven't had such a bad breakout in like years so um but that's another story i'm gonna tell you the products and things that I have been using um, so I'll make another video for that but this is the sensitive skin version and it's called the Sensibio H2O uh, makeup removing uh, micelle solution and this has helped me so much with the breakout in terms of uh, using a product that doesn't irritate my skin uh, a product that takes uh, my makeup completely off very very gentle and it does remove my uh, makeup like my actual foundation completely but I don't feel like it's a great product for removing like waterproof mascara or anything like that like I still use my um, Clinique makeup remover or the Neutrogena makeup remover for my eyes you know my eyeshadow and um, eyeliner mascara and all that um, and I use this with uh, just regular cotton pads and it actually saves a lot of money because um, usually I always like to remove my makeup with makeup wipes and then cleanse my face with a facial cleanser but uh, I feel like using this like an actual makeup remover uh, and you know using the cotton pads it's just way better than using you know wipes and I know a couple of brands are coming up with these like micellar waters I'm still waiting to receive one from um, simple so I will test that one because that one it's of course available at the drugstore so I will do a comparison later on to see if it compares to this one but I am really happy that they are coming up with you know these type of uh, face makeup removing products in the past that that was one of my struggles like there wasn't any products except you know makeup wipes uh, to remove the actual you know foundation and your face makeup so definitely recommend this one the next product is this vitamin e oil from trader joe's and this i had been using it as a moisturizer only on like specific areas like around my mouth and the size of my nose um, because those areas have been getting drier due to the products you know the acne products that i'm using and this has helped so much especially to nourish at night and you know i don't want to add any other products to the things i'm using so i just want something simple and this has definitely helped the next product is an actual rediscovery and it's this tar amazonian clay waterproof concealer and please do not mind the packaging is all like peeled off and, and just like gross looking. But this I used to use it all the time before I started using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this was like my holy grail concealer. And I just started using it again. Um, actually the other day I just left my NARS at home and I just had this in my makeup bag. And guys it's just so good. I just rediscovered the love i have for this product it's a great great concealer it blends out so smoothly and it's just so moisturizing under the eyes and it lasts all day and it's a great great coverage also so i recommend it if you are looking for a new concealer if you're gonna try something new this is totally worth it the next product is this mys 
Micro Brow Pencil. I got this as soon as I heard that this was a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wisp, which is my holy grail brow pencil, but it's just so expensive. And you know how it runs out so quickly. So I got this one, and I have to say that it's not like an exact dupe of the Anastasia Brow Wisp, but it's like so, so, so close. Um, if you can see like the actual tip of the pencil, it's really, really, really tiny and it's, yeah, very, very similar to the um, Anastasia one and it does um, stay all day and I really, really love it. So I have been using this like for the entire month and I definitely, definitely recommend it. The next product is a nail polish and it's this one by Wet n Wild. And this right here is the one I am wearing right now, if you can see here. It's a beautiful nude color, and I have been loving like these type of colors on my nails. Probably when summer comes, I'm gonna start wearing like all the crazy like neon colors and all that, because I love those too. But for right now, these are the ones I'm using the most, and this is definitely a great formula. I love how smooth it is, and it's like a great coverage, and it's only like $1.99. I think this is like from the new spring collection, and this is called a uh, sugar coat. 205B. So I actually want to get the other colors as well. But like I said, the formula it's great, the coverage and the colors are just beautiful. I only have like four more products and the next one is another skincare item and it's this eye gel by Elizabeth Arden. And this is so amazing for the under eye area and the contours of your eyes. I am all about taking care of our skin early and I started taking care of my under eyes and the contours of my eyes like a couple of years ago because you know I was afraid of you know aging signs and all that. So I have used all types of brands like high-end and drugstore and I can tell you that it really doesn't matter what type of eye cream or eye gel you use as long as you're using one. Like it's better to just use one than not using one at all. So definitely start taking care of, of that area early and this one I really recommend it because it's so refreshing to the eyes it's very moisturizing but like I said it really doesn't matter what brand you use as long as you're using one and start early the next product is this mini eyeshadow palette from Ulta and I actually got this one uh, back in February for my birthday and this is so great like I love the pigmentation of these eyeshadows I have been using it like every day and these are great colors, you know, great neutral everyday colors. So I really recommend it. It's called the uh, Ulta Complete Eye. And oh, it's actually um, on the back it says Indie. So I guess that's the name of the palette. And it has four eyeshadows and one powder liner. So it's a great little palette to have. And like I said, the pigmentation and the quality, it's really great. The next product is a repurchase. And it's one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. And it's this MYC. I just love this so much. This eyeliner is so inexpensive. It's like $1 and the quality, it's amazing. The brush, the formula, everything. So if you haven't tried it, I totally recommend this one. All right, and my last product is actually a very unusual product because I don't use it for the purpose that it's made for. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I am talking about this right here. This is a laundry soap. This is called Sote and it is made in Mexico and I use it for cleaning up my makeup brushes. I actually don't think I talked about this on any of my videos before. I did talk about this on my uh, blog. I did post uh, a picture also on Instagram and I have been using it for almost one year now. Now, let me tell you my favorite favorite makeup brush cleanser of all times is this right here this is a solid beauty blender cleanser this right here it's like my holy grail brush cleanser of all times ever and if you know me you know that i am really really huge on cleaning up my makeup brushes and i actually have quite of a stash of products because i have tried different brands and i will put a picture uh, somewhere here so you can see 
my cleaning uh, stash but um, if you see there I have tried different brands and nothing really compares to this um, beauty blender soap this is great because it actually cleans the brushes so so well and it doesn't leave any residues like you can just clean the brush really really fast and the product goes away like it dissolves very quickly so you're not there like you know washing your brush for a long time trying to get rid of the soap or the liquid or whatever the product it is so that is one of the reasons why I love this one. But as you know, if you have tried this, it's really expensive. I think it's like $17 and it runs out really, really quickly. Like for me, it lasts probably three weeks. Like I wash my brushes every week. So probably for three weeks I can use this. But you know, after that it gets really expensive. So guys, I actually found out about this soap through another blogger and I had no idea. I mean, that never, you know, came to my mind because I knew this brand. I lived in Mexico. So if you are a Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser user, you have to go run and get this product, the Sote Laundry Soap. And the best part, this is only $1. Well, at least I paid a dollar at the store where I found it, but it's probably not gonna be more than $2. I guarantee guys it's definitely a dupe they have two versions this is the pink one but they also have an unscented one which is the white one this product comes right off it's very effective at taking any type of makeup off leaves them very very clean and very conditioned as well so I definitely definitely recommend it totally totally worth it so definitely go and get one or probably three or four because they're really amazing so get some backups all right guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like this channel. Like this video, thumbs up to see more. Thank you again. God bless you and I will see you on the next video. Bye.